forecast is slightly more cautious than the executives. But we would also require significant growth and a return to a more normal, strong fourth quarter to reach our number. We are both banking on the CBT reaching a turning point this spring, a turning point which is not yet clearly visible in the data. I suspect you're tired of my annual warning about the difficulty of correctly gauging the April final payments on the gross income tax and my recitation of the history of April surprises. In addition to the normal difficulty in projecting income for high income taxpayers, this year additional uncertainty derives from potential errors in estimating the size and the timing of the impact from the one year tax increase that was in effect for last year and the interplay of the New Jersey and New York State tax changes that impact residents who live in New Jersey but work in New York. An upward or downward April surprise remains distinctly possible. The good news is that when OLS and the Treasurer come back before you in mid-May, these uncertainties, at least with respect to fiscal year 2011, will be largely resolved. Speaking of good news, I think it's useful to see the overall revenue picture as a combination of good news. After two awful years, revenues appear to be growing again. And bad news, we are still well below our peak revenue years. Even with projected growth in fiscal year 2012, the gross income tax is estimated to produce $2 billion less than it did in fiscal year 2008 and we will still be below the level we were in 2006. With growth projected for this fiscal year and next, the sales tax would still be below its 2007 peak. And after falling 33% from its 2007 peak, the corporation business tax would still be $500 million below that peak in 2012. 